In this video, we are going to teach you how to set up a basic auto attendant. Auto attendants are also commonly known as phone trees, menus, virtual receptionists, or IVRs. Detailed instructions for auto attendants can be found on our support desk here. In this demo, the auto attendant is going to include one menu that will function during office hours and one for after hours. For our example, the office hour menu is going to look something like this. We're going to have a main menu, and it's going to lead to a couple of extensions, someone's voicemail box, and it's going to play some general information about the office. The after hours menu is going to look similar. We're going to have a main menu. It's going to lead to voicemail boxes since people will not be sitting at those extensions. It's going to play general information and transfer to an on-call phone. All functional auto attendants must have two components, a schedule and a menu. The purpose of the schedule is to determine which menu should be active at any given time, day or date. The purpose of the menu is to provide callers with the options you want them to have at a certain time and route calls to the correct destination. To summarize what we're going to be building is the following. One auto attendant, which will hold both the schedules and the menus. Two schedules and two menus. The reason we need two different menus is because in the examples, we have different functionality. One for office hours and a different one for after hours. One quick note before we get started, in order for you to access the settings required to build a menu, you must be an admin user. If you're not an admin user, contact your administrator or RingRx support for assistance. The first step is to actually create a greeting. Uh, record a greeting and you will upload it to the menu. Guidelines for creating greetings can be found in our support documents here. The next step is to create the auto attendant. So go to settings, auto attendant, and add new auto attendant. The first step here is to assign a name to this auto attendant, and we're going to name it something obvious like main auto attendant. The next step is to assign an extension number. Auto attendants are given extension numbers because this is how the system actually routes calls to them. In this case, we're going to assign a number well outside of the range used for phone extensions, just for basic organization. We're going to pick an extension 2000. Once saved, you'll see your new auto attendant. The next step is to add a menu. From the auto attendant screen, select menus, then add new menu. Assign an easy to understand name. Select the greeting dropdown and select the greeting you want to play for this menu. Now we're gonna leave all other options on this page alone as they are more advanced settings and not required for a basic auto attendant. Now click save. Now that your menu is created, we can add the functions in the menu. Functions are called actions. Select the menu. Select New Action. Digits are the buttons that callers will be pressing on the menu. In our example, the first one should be 1. And the action is going to be Transfer to Extension. And the extension is going to be Appointment. The next two actions are going to be similar. And the fourth action is going to be Play a Greeting. All actions are saved as they are added, so when you're done, just close the menu. Now we're going to create the after hours menu similarly. Two menus created. Our next step is to create the schedules. Schedules tell your auto attendant which menu will play at which time. Let's start with the schedule for office hours. From auto attendants, we're going to select the main office auto attendant, then select new schedule. We'll give it a name like main office hour schedule. Select the correct menu to play during the schedule, main office hours menu. In this case, we're gonna build our office hours, which is when we want the main menu to play. So we're going to select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with a start time of 9 a.m. and an end time of 1700 or you could even do 5 p.m. We're not going to worry about call handling options or advanced schedule options as these are not required for this example. Click Save. So now this schedule will cause the menu to play during office hours that we created. 
But what about after, after hours? Well, we could do this by entering a schedule for after hours, which would be 5 p.m. to 9 a.m. Monday through Friday, plus all day Saturday and Sunday. But because these schedules overlap different dates, doing this way would be a bit complex, and we would have to actually build three schedules to accommodate all after hours time periods. There's actually a better way to do it. We're going to create a catch-all schedule that basically says, if the main office hours schedule is not active, always follow this other schedule. So here's what we do. From auto attendant, select your main office auto attendant, then select new schedule, give it a name like main after hour schedule, select the correct menu to play during the schedule and click save. That's all we have to do. I'm gonna explain something that will help you understand why this works. From auto attendant, select the main auto attendant. You'll see both schedules in there. They are listed one on top of the other. The way our auto attendants work is that the system starts looking at the top of the schedules and start searching downward for the first schedule that matches the current date and time. Once it finds a match, it picks that schedule and executes it. A match simply just means that whatever time it is today matches the time that is in that schedule. The system simply keeps going down through the schedules until it finds one that matches. Now back to our example, if the time is anything outside of office hours like 9 p.m. at night or a weekend, the system is gonna skip pack past the main office hour schedule and look to the next schedule to see if it matches. Now here's the important part about the after hours schedule. It's always going to match. If we leave all schedule parameters unfilled, it means the schedule will always be active. So just to recap, if a call comes in during office hours, the office hours schedule takes over and the system will never even look at the after hours schedule. But if a call comes in at any time other than office hours, the after hours schedule will always be active. So now we will have a functioning, fully functioning auto attendant with two schedules and two menus. We only have one last thing to do, and that is to make a way for callers to get to the auto attendant. Direct, to direct callers to this auto attendant from your main number, go to settings, phone numbers, find your main number and select edit. Change extension to IVR, main auto attendant or whatever you've named it, and click save. This phone number is now pointed to the auto attendant and when it's called, your menus will take over. The last thing we recommend is to always test your auto attendants when you create a new one or when you make any changes.